we're going to do that plan with me that I've been promising. Mm -hmm. It's that wish for snow right here. And this is made by Prairie Girl Plans. If you want to see, that's what it looks like. Prairie Girl Plans. And she has so many cute little things that go in with her kits. Um, what I look for in a kit, let me just tell you, um, I always look for certain things. Obviously, the full boxes, and that's what makes the design. I mean, that's what you're looking for is this particular design. And what I do with it, a lot of people put it second. I put it first on the top row, and that is kind of my bulletin board of what must be done today. And the only thing that goes in this category is an absolute do not forget a one urgent kind of thing. Otherwise, I try to leave them alone because they're so pretty. But then I look for ombre checklist or some sort of a checklist. There's usually two kinds. There's an ombre checklist like this or just a plain checklist like that. And that's my actual to-dos for the day. Okay, so that's the important stuff that has to be done that day. But if it doesn't, it must move to the next day and get worked on. The only things that absolutely cannot move to the next day is the things on the actual ombres. I mean, not the ombres, the full box. What I love about the full box is it sets the design for the spread. And here you have these beautiful little branches with snow on them, snowflakes, little deer in the woods, little uh, um, sweater weather, and then just some kind of um, patterns to go with it. And this has got a very wintry feel to it, even though we've got some other wintry feel. Um, a couple of my subbies had said they wanted to see this one next, and y'all rule. Uh, I like the weekend banner to be in there besides the full boxes and the ombre. You have to have a weekend banner and you have to have um, half boxes like this. And then what is a new thing of mine is you got to have the bottom bar because I really hate this right here. I don't know why, but I hate this little white lines place at the bottom of the spread. And so I really have gotten to where I'm only working with Etsy shops that give a bottom bar and, and Prairie Girl Plans, Chic Street, um, Glam Planner, uh, Magnolia, uh, a lot of them, what's it called, Magnolia Boulevard, that's become a new favorite, um, but they have these bottom bars. What do they do? Well, they fill the space down there, and, and you think, well, who cares? Well, it also, look how this goes with that. It kind of pulls the overall spread together, so that's why that's really important to me. And then usually it has extra washi like that, so some people put that and they run along the top or along the side. Um, and then sometimes they um, add, besides these half bars, they got the to-dos and the todays and banners, um, not banners, labels, um, are important to me as well, so they have to have that. And then those that throw in these little art sheets like this, this says hot cocoa, bundle up, it's got snowballs, it's got mittens, it's got snowmen, it's got sweater wetter, which is what this is about to me. Um, the little cocoa stand is really cute, the hot cocoa, just all of it kind of says it's getting really cold. Now, living in the South, that's important to us, you guys. A lot of you guys are like, I don't want it to be cold. We live up north. Let me tell you, when you live in 80 degrees and it's December, you want to see a snowball. Okay, also from Mailbox Happiness, I loved this piece. It did not come with all the rest of the stuff, so she lost in that sense. But I felt like this could blend to be in these lower boxes along with the half boxes. So I really love these pieces. This is musical uh, score sheets. This beautiful pattern, the wood, the chevrons, the plaid, the polka dots, winter, snow scene stuff. I really love this, but the problem is I did not get the kit that went with it. I'm not sure there was one. But I love mailbox happiness, if nothing else, for her concept about getting happy because of your mailbox. And I spent a fortune on this stuff. It's sort of like people say, why would you? It's just a stupid day planner, and it's like, well, no, it isn't to me. It's I have to look at it all day long, every day, to keep up with what I'm working on. So it's important to me that it's fun. And it's sort of like people who get pretty serious about s scrapbooking and stuff like that. It's just artistic. It's kind of an artistic outlet. And then I love these little pieces like my Bible study pieces, my um, payday, my change the fishy water bowls. My praying for those of you who have asked me to please pray for you. I put you on my prayer list for real. I hope you've noticed my spreads when I come back and show them to you later. And you might see your name on there. But I try to match those up. I have a cleaning lady that comes uh, every couple of weeks. So I put either this or my new thing that I got from Classy Planner. Which is, hold on a minute. It's an actual cleaning 
Honey, is that neato? Look at that. Obviously, there's not a cleaning maid that looks like that who's in a dress and high heels. Wow, wouldn't that be a woman? But anyway, uh, you know, we don't want to have these ridiculous um, thoughts about what a woman should be. So, sorry I even said that. But And then there's these little uh, leftovers from Classy Planner. I might use some of these this week. Um, from Cookie to Don't Forget to The Dancing Lady. And then also I'm going to need to make a nail appointment because I get paid this next week. Got to have my nails, hair, and doggies groom. So, of course, you guys know that if I had the doggies groom, then we have to have these. And the Classy Planner custom made these for me of uh, Velvet and Brie. So, you guys, uh, seriously, give that woman some business because... Who goes to that kind of trouble for you? So the Classy Planner on Etsy. She's also the Classy Planner on um, Instagram. So give her a little love. And then also I have to have my little plan with me um, icon to put on Sundays. And then whenever my husband is going to be gigging, because y'all know he both has a small paint business and he's a musician and he's an incredible man of God, amongst other billions of wonderful things about him. This is Carolina Crafts. Um, and these guitars I put out there whenever he has a gig. Whenever I'm singing, I put these little microphones. And sometimes it's when I lead worship at church or if I have a concert or something like that. Like I have in February. And then also Sweet Quad Design. I always use this to um, remind me to clean my makeup brushes. And believe it or not, I really do. I clean my make makeup brushes. And uh, this little reminder is helpful. And sometimes I have little leftovers from an old kit. Like, this is a leftover of, um, it's like a little checklist. And I think this came from Glam Planner, which is Elle Fowler's um, spread for New Year's Eve. And, but I just, this was a leftover one because I used all the rest, but this one was left. And I may use this for some goals for this week, so I'm going to set that aside. I know you're saying, oh my gosh, look at the stack up of them, but we'll use them all. Uh, anyway, and then here's some more classy planner, um... As a Christian, these are kind of important to me, and she makes these as well. And they are scriptures that are kind of done in a really fun format, bright colors. Um, so I just, I like to pick out a scripture each week that I like to put on my planner in the top left-hand corner. But be, even beyond that, I like to put one, um, you know, in the sticker format. So we'll see what I do with that. So all of this, um, I have two Bible studies a week too, so I have both... Um, the Classy Planners, which is pink, or you can also order it in blue, I think. So this one's really neat to have. And then before I even had that, I had these. And I think this is from Sweet Quai Design, and I really love these. Because one of mine is kind of like a life group, like just that the Bible right there. And one of them is a deep study group, which is on Saturday. And that's that one. So I kind of like these the best. But anyway, so let's just get started. Let me pull all these extras off. And um, let's just get started. What I always put down first and then second is these two. And that is a full box. And that always goes across the top because that's like my little bulletin board. And then right below it is my to-do list, um, which is the whole reason why I have a day planner. And I have for years and years. And that is, um, you know, my little ombre checklist. So let's go ahead and do these. Now, I will tell you guys, this... That's where these almost look horizontal. They don't look long enough, but I'm going to try it. Um, so I'm also trying to work around. What you don't see here is the camera's right there, and then also is the mic, because if y'all remember, I broke my mic. My husband, who is sweeter than, uh, I, I don't know what to call him. I was going to say sweeter than Jesus, but there's no one sweeter than Jesus Christ. Um, but he is second, and he is uh, does everything. He loves me so much. And one of the things is he supports me on this so much that he's already ordered the mounting device to make sure that the microphone can be remounted on the camera. So, but it, for right now, it's a little on the difficult side. So you're going to see me kind of just be patient, be patient, be patient. Um, you're going to see me reaching around things in order to put these down. And you may see cords and things like that. So the first thing I would tell you if you're new at doing this is that you need to line up the X and Y axis so that you have a really straight line. And I would always recommend that you buy stickers that um, they um, are removable or um, like I have removable and... Um, matte these are glossy so many of these are glossy the only bad thing about glossy glossy is not bad 
but the only bad thing about glossy is that it is kind of hard to see online and sometimes it is in real life because they're very reflective and they're very shiny and so it's kind of hard to put them down here now that's not it here's another thing that i told you guys sometimes they're not absolutely perfection like um i'm a perfectionist and i admit it and i know that i need to change but um no kidding sometimes it's it's kind of hard to get yourself to let it go if it's not exactly perfect and if it bothers me enough i will move it but otherwise it's like beth get a life i mean it's a sticker after all <laughs> So, I am going to pull this one off. It's funny because I have that one too. Look how they're identical. I'll probably put that somewhere else on the spread. But as this is for now, I, I kind of go in the order that they give it to you in because I think they put whoever... The <laughs> okay, I'm choking. I think whoever puts these together, their Etsy shop, I think they put a lot of thought into how they coordinate and design the spread so it's I you know I just I'm I don't know you know so I'm gonna go ahead and put this down I really do try to be uh, go in the way that they built it now for those of you who go well that ain't me that's fine go ahead do your own thing to me it's just easier I love this one most of all and you, you guys are like seriously bad that it's just a bunch of branches on a tote background but you guys so bad I want it to snow here in the south it is so stinking hot most of the year and so when we see something that represents snow we're all like jump up and down um, so yeah I love that one the branches and then this is um, looks like a little sweater so you could have used this for Christmas as well and we'll go ahead and lay that down right whoops i almost slipped and then i can tell we're fixing to move into the second video so this will be more than one part which is not unusual for me at all if i can even get this done there okay so i'll see you guys in the next video no i won't see you in the next video i'll see you in this video because you know what it already switched over ah, not surprising okay so we're working on this spread and we're trying to get our january spread done and we are using Prairie Girl Plans um, stickers, and we have gone ahead and done our full box. We'll end up using this for something. I haven't decided yet what, and I will probably put it down there. I usually coordinate it by putting it down there. And you know what? Because I usually do, I'm just going to go ahead. Why? Because I like the fact that you can have a little something here at the bottom that kind of coordinates the top and so this kind of goes with this and it kind of draws it all together and that is important to me okay so now we're going to do the um, check boxes as you can see right here and these are ombre check boxes and the colors are perfect so i'm just going to go in the order that they're made and i'm going to start with the red and um i've been you guys i i've been needing to think about what's the scripture of the week right i haven't done that Whoopsie, whoopsie, oopsie, oopsie. No, it's too high. No, it's still too high. There, looks good. All right. It's just lining up this axis, this X and Y axis. And if you'll do that, then it makes it where it's real easy to lay it down. Okay, so now we're doing this kind of minty blue. It's a really beautiful color. I mean, really, this is a gorgeous spread. And uh, there we go. And if you ever do something where, okay, so there's a sliver of white, you're going to end up covering it up with the to do and today. So don't sweat it, you guys, unless it matters to you that much. And then if you've bought, you thought to bought the removable, which is smart, if that matters that much to you, then go ahead and buy removable and just pull it back up and relay it back down. Especially since I just did that twice. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to put this beautiful gray taupey color. It's kind of snowy. It's actually kind of a gray snow. And my sister tells me all the time, you wouldn't love snow. If you lived in snow all the time, it's depressing. And it's pretty the first day, but after that, it gets all sludgy and all ucky. And it's awful. And it's wee, 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 wee. And I'm thinking, I'd take it any day. 
because we love it here in the south. Uh oh, there's a smudge. I don't. You know what, guys? That looked like mascara or some kind of makeup. So I'm gonna have to fix that somehow, right there. But odds are, I am going to have some sort of um beautimusness. Okay, so I need the blue. I'm gonna do this bright blue again. Really, I could do the minty blue, but I'm gonna do the bright blue. I think it's kind of important to this spread whoop okay see that's just it's just too low I gotta fix it there we go mm -mm -mm. again the only thing about the glossies is it actually makes it hard to see okay no matter what I did it still did it okay um, y'all know me I do not do to-do lists for Sunday I just don't and it's important to me to leave Sunday as a day of the Lord. So we will see what I might use there. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and use these. Again, these are from Mailbox Happiness. And I'm thinking I'm going to use um, something not too busy, but busy enough. And that is these. This, um, hmm. let's use this. It's polka dots. And I think that's really cool instead of to-do lists. Okay. So, um, all right. So now let's use the, um, banners. These are, um, to-dos and todays. So let's go ahead and get started on those. And we'll just start with, um, the colors that they have and they don't always match like you're thinking they're going to, but that's okay because it always co coordinates and, um, so that's really important. Hold on. There to there. Beautimus. Oops. I just dropped all this on the floor. Hold on, everybody. I'm going down to the floor and back. Okay. I came back. All right. Now I need another to do. And it's this that I'm pulling it off of. And so these all look like the same color. And I'm just trying to make sure that we line up right. And so we're going to get another to do. They actually do look like they're all the same color. That's okay. That's totally okay. I actually like it. It kind of looks more coordinated. Ooh, please. You get that exactly right. It's so hard. I think that I do it. That I do it again and again. Uh oh. I don't really like the way that went down the second one. It's just the ending of it. I wonder if I can get it back up. Uh-oh, without tearing it up, okay. Hmm, how many of those do I even have? I might take that one off and use it again later because I messed it up a little bit. So we'll see how that goes. As it stands, we're gonna use one of these again. And try not to do that too many times because you're going to run out of them. There it goes. And... Is that right? That looks good. Okay. And uh, I don't know how many this may go into, you guys, but hey, it is what it is. My husband hates it when I say that, but it just is. I mean, it's whatever you can make it be. If it's not perfect, that's okay. Unless not being perfect drives you crazy like me, like that, and like, whoops, I messed that one up. That will do. That'll do, pig. Where does that come from, y'all? Was that Charlotte's Web? I, I'm quoting it all the time now, and I don't know where it came from, and so it bothers me. There. Okay, one more. Okay, my husband's in there saying something. What is it, babe? That'll do donkey. It's from Shrek. It's, he says it's from Shrek, but no, I think there's something from um, Charlotte's Web, you guys. Tell me. Show him. Show him. Okay, here's the other thing, is I don't do to-dos to on Sunday, but I do go ahead and put the little um, to-do sticker there because I want to cover up that color whatever color is existing so that I have a coordinating spread. And then I go back over this particular words to do 
and I put some kind of a sticker that is not oriented to working on Sunday, but focusing on the Lord. And I'm not just ridiculous about it. I think if you have something that you need to do, the Lord's okay with that. But I just think it's important to take time on your Sunday to have time with Him. Okay, so here's the todays as well. This is definitely e easily going to go into part three. Um, so we're going to put our todays on because I never did do that. And here they are. Whoops, did I almost just knock my camera over? It would really stink if I did that. I would hate to knock my camera over. There we go, there's today's. Here's another today. There we go. Now let's put that one here. It sounds like a little mosquito. Have you ever heard a mosquito in your ear? It's the weirdest noise. Yes, they do make that little noise that I just did. It sounds like Wee! right in your ear. Bless your little hearts, that's their little wings. Why am I saying bless their hearts? I hate them and I wish they would die. I hate mosquitoes with a passion. You know, one time I prayed about it. I asked God what will happen at the return of Christ to the animals that were I, presumably evil, like leeches and fleas and mosquitoes and I guess they'll go back to whatever they were before that wasn't evil. Anyway, I don't know. He didn't really answer me on that, except what I just said. <laughs> they'll go back to what they were before they were evil. And I guess that goes for the rest of us too, right? Okay, so here's some more to do today. Sorry, not to do's. These are today stickers. And again, remember these are banners for whatever we must get done today. It cannot wait till tomorrow. It must be done today. And that's why we put it above the top box. That's why I've never really understood why do people put it below. Uh, to me, it would be first, not second. But, you know, to each his own. Okay. And then, even on Sunday, I'm going to put it today because it is today, even on Sunday. And then maybe something I need to remember and that's what today's are about. They're kind of remembering you need to do this today. All right. There. All right. So we've got our to-dos and our today's done. Now the next thing is this, this third area, as I put it. And that's where little things go. Or to, uh, I'm noticing on Magnolia Boulevard, she actually puts tonight. And that's things that after work or after your work day, whether you are work at home or work at uh, other place that um that you put on that are things to don't forget at night so um let's see all right so here's where you can start filling in these boxes with this alternative look you can use um we need to do the weekend banner we can go ahead and do the weekend banner because we've already put down our uh, labels for here. Sometimes I put that down and I forget we don't have the label yet. The K is usually the middle. Whoops. And I usually have to put it down a little bit so it doesn't block the today altogether. Whoops. Let me pull that back up a little. Oh my gosh. Okay. See what I did? I actually pulled that apart, but that's okay. Just put it back together as you lay it down. That's okay. There we go. See, now it's all back together. Everybody's fine. Let's just use my finger now to really meld that together. And there's your weekend banner. Okay. So we took that from this. And then there's all these little flags and all kinds of little um, dots and all kinds of little things that you can put to do during the week. And I usually keep this in my day planner so that I can add things back as I go. So we're going to be actually going into part Three. I see it coming, so we are just going to watch it and watch it, and now we're here in part three. Okay, so we have been using Prairie Girl Plans to do our wintry theme for um, this week, which is the 18th through 24th, and so now we have, we've already got our um, full boxes, we've got our checklists, we put in our banners um, that show our um, category heads of to today and to do. We put on our weekend banner. We put on some Sunday boxes. We put in a little extra box here. I haven't decided on my scripture of the week yet, so we're going to leave that blank. And now we are going to go ahead and put on our half boxes and little theme banners. Uh, but before I even do that, I'm thinking about, I want to use these 
and put these in the background. I think it'll be cute. And so, you know, I could be wrong, but I'm doing it. Here I go. So first of all, I'm going to use, this is from Mailbox Happiness. I'm going to use this little um, box that is a, um, it looks like music. It's really, really cute, you guys. Really like it. And then next to that, we're going to use the one that says snow. And now you're thinking, why would you blend two full box kits? But it's because this full box kit did not come with a full planner kit, a full spread kit. This is all there is to it. And so I can use that, whereas some people might use this as um, write-in boxes down here or half boxes down here or whatever. I'm just using this to fill in space. And I, I like it, and I'm okay with it. <laughs> Okay, so here we have, it says snow there, here it says winter, and no kidding, in the south, we are truly hoping for this. For you people up north, you're like, just wondering, you're, why? Why would anybody want snow? Well, because when you're used to 80 to 90 to 100 degrees all the time, it gets old, and you want to build a stinking snowman. So, um, there's that. And so I'm just adding these in just to fill in these boxes. And we'll still use those half boxes, by the way, for decorative purposes. The one I'm going to leave out is the plaid uh, red and green because it looks just, it just looks too Christmassy. Mm -mm. Not going to use it. So I don't know. I may use it here and then cover over it a good bit with um, the half boxes. So that may be what I do. Let's do that. Let's don't waste it. I don't ever want to waste any part of these kits. You should do this. Be finished. Be finished with kits. Um, or, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not crazy about that. Um, you know what? I don't do to-dos on Sunday, which is why I do a blank there. But I can do things to remember for the next week. And I do like to use the leftover um, uh, ombre checklist for that. So I'm going to put that down here. That's what I'm going to do with that. And it's not to do, but it's a thing to kind of remember for next week. So then the banners for this section would be little things. Some people call it two nights or things that you would not want to forget for the evening. And that's fine too. You know, things at home after you've gotten home from work. Or for you ladies that work from home um, or are at home moms and you're doing at home schooling or um, you're just, you know, you're being an at home mom, which is a huge job. Um, I often think sometimes us ladies who go to the office get a little bit more of a break than you guys because it's it's full time. You guys never get a break. And so hats off to you that you're giving that kind of attention to your kids and your family. Um, but anyway, so I'm using this little things as a list of th uh, an, an area. It doesn't have to be a list, but an area that you may want to mention um, things that you want to make sure you don't forget for the evening. And it can be anything from meal planning to laundry to, hey, don't forget this TV show that I absolutely love. It helps me relax and unwind. Um, or an event or something for you, you or your kids or whatever. Whatever. Whatever it serves for you. But it's the little things, you know? And so that's where we're putting it there. And um, so I'm going to put that there. And I am going to do the same thing for my... Um, I don't know. I don't see a little place for reminders on these sheets. Sometimes these little sheets say reminders, but since it doesn't, I'm going to go ahead and put a little things over here too for Sunday because it's really reminders of things to think about for planning for the next week. And I do think that that is profitable. So now I'm going to kind of mat everything down with my hand, make sure all these little labels are down. Now we're done. So what I would like to do is first of all, put on the, um, uh oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Put on the bottom bar. The bottom bar is an area that just gets rid of all this ugly white at the bottom. And that is super important to me. I will not even buy a kit if it doesn't have this anymore. So that's super duper important to me. And I line it up with the bottom of the page and those little lines right there. And it is kind of hard to get it exactly right, but there. Look how, two things, for one thing, it kills that ugly space, but also look how it brings the whole plan spread together. I just think it's so important to the look. Um, so I'm going to take these. But if you'll notice on Prairie Girls, she got two more. These are long washies. 
So there is our final spread pretty much. And I'm gonna pull back so that you can see it. There used to be an ugly coffee cup. But also, um, I'm gonna zoom in so you can kind of see where we're at. It's a really pretty set, um, a really pretty spread, and you can use this all week to make your list of things to do, to feel like you want to be kind of like happy about um, making some, uh, what am I trying to say here? Trying to make a list of things and still feel good about being very wintry. I want to say Christmassy, but it's not Christmassy that we're looking at. Okay, so these little long pieces right here are not part of these bottom bars. These are washi that is used in order to either, some people put it up here instead of the Today stickers to kind of either blank this out right here or whatever. Some people put them over here to kind of blank out the color there. It's so interesting, people all agree that they want to blank out color and make it all coordinated and organized, which I think that's so funny. But we do it, we do it, and we like it. So, I have never really experienced, um, experimented, I mean, with this. Oh my gosh, it's a really long piece. Okay, I see how people use that. I'm going to use it. Where am I going to use it? I don't know. I could use it right there. Um, hmm. I don't know, I kind of feel like I want to use it here, you guys. Like right here, to pull this together. Is that wrong? Okay, here I go. Here I go, here I go. Oh my gosh, is it? Did it fit? Did I make it fit? Oh my gosh, it doesn't fit. Okay, so, I'm going to pull it off, and the good news is, oh look how easy that comes off. Kudos to you, Prairie Girl Plans. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's why. It's because it had a little piece still stuck on it. Oops, I hope my microphone's still picking me up or else we'll have another one of those playing with me's that does not go. Okay, whoops. Okay, there we go. All right, so now I'm going to make this fit and it fits perfectly to the end, okay? Now, one thing I will say about this and the good news is I happen to have a pair of scissors handy is while that fills in that white space and I love it, um, this won't. This will be a little off. So what I'm going to do is use as a guide that piece right there to cut it right there. And that way we know it will fit. So I'm going to literally line this up and cut right. I just cut right there. Do you see that? And now I know this will fit the right length because that um, bottom bar fit the right length. So let's pull that off. And we're going to put it to fill in that space as well. And so let's line it up over here to the left. Line it up. Talk to it. Pet it. Pet. Pet the bottom bar. Pet the bottom bar. There. Perfection. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm going to zero in. Look. Is that gorgeous, Moo? Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Okay. So let's keep going. Um, now, the other thing is, is I've got these half boxes to kind of write in on these pieces, and I do want to. So the first thing I want to do is um, use the blue smack dab in the middle of this. And some of you are going, why are you doing smack dab? Because I want to. <laughs> there it is. I like to have it in the middle. Whoops. Is that in the middle? Yes. A little crooked but I'll fix that in a minute and here's the next one we want that one to work so we're going to use this smack dab in the middle now if these don't match like if they're not perfectly lined up <laughs> then you can do like me and pull them back up and line them up or you can just be not so anal and just use the fact that they are really really cute and they line up just fine and it's just good for writing in on things and also the good thing about this is is even those those other full boxes did not totally match, um, they, um, they will now because you're coordinating them with this, with this set. There we go. Is that right? No, I'm trying to get it, you guys. Be patient with me. Some people say, why do you go to this kind of trouble? It's insane that you even care if a sticker is straight. But the, here's the thing. All week long, that sticker will be in front of my face and it will bug me. 
Okay, that's good. And if it's not absolute perfection, I can live with it, but I don't know. Um, it kind of not really. Okay, so here's another one. And we're going to put it about the same. Is that about right? There we go. And here is another one that we're going to use. These half boxes give you a place to write on what the little things are at night that you need to do. There. And last but not least, a blue one. We need to do a blue one. And we'll do that right there. There we go. So that's all set for us to be writing. And, okay. So we come over here and we're thinking, okay, what do we do with this section? Well, a couple of things. First of all, that thought, that, that thoughtfulness up there in orange has got to go. That looks terrible. And so I'm going to move this down a little bit and I'm going to definitely go over that. Oops, it's not going straight. Let me pull that back up. Yeah, it's too close to the top. But I, I, the orange, just it's not working. We've got blue and taupe and red going here, and that orange is definitely not going to work. So, but at the same time, whoops, we've got to get it. This is kind of a pain. Um, getting that just right is a problem. <laughs> there. Okay, got it. It's a problem, but not really. Okay, because that's where the scripture of the day is going to go, and we're going to use a nice little snowflake on this side to kind of block out the blue orange right there whoops I didn't do a good job there let's try it again why because I love the blue I love this um, snowflake and I think it looks really cute and I'm gonna put another one right next to it that is the um, kind of chevrony look and the reason I'm doing that is because uh, the other one that was coming up next was um, is too close to this one so there so now we have done that and there's all these other pieces that you can use you guys so I may use that later this week same thing with this there are pieces that I have not used yet but we also have special day little um, dots see all these little dots that you can add stuff and see all these little extra banners and washi you can add which I am going to use but first and foremost, I'm going to use this art page, and I've got to use this hot cocoa. That is just too stinking cute. And so I am going to use it. Okay, I've got a little piece there. I'm going to use that right here at the top of this, and I just think it's just, it's so cute that I've got to use it. So there it goes. Okay, and I think that whenever you use a big piece of art like that, it kind of pulls a piece, this whole piece together. So I think that's okay. And then also the whole theme of sweater weather. This is kind of hard to read because it's very pale blue and red. But the whole point of this kind of a sweatery look here and here and there. It's kind of a sweater weather look. And so I do want to put that right here. And I'm going to put it right on top. And I know it looks a little off center. So let me, let me see how I'm, con how I'm going to do this to make sure that it all comes together. There we go. And I know I went right over the flag bottoms, but that's okay, because sweater weather is kind of the point of what I want to do. And then on top of that, I want to put this little uh, message um, of bundle up somewhere. Uh, Martin Luther King Day, I don't want to mess that up. Let's see. Where will we do it? We'll do bundle up right there over Tuesday. And it's okay when you kind of cover over something like a date because you can kind of tell and it's okay. Um, and we're kind of hoping for the warm um, warmth of sweaters and mittens and toboggans and all that because we have snowflakes. That's what we're hoping for in the south. So I'm putting a couple of those around. And then, of course, the hot cocoa and all of that's really cute. So we're going to put the little snowman. We don't know if it's going to be that cold this week. Matter of fact, odds are it's not. <laughs> um, but we're going to put this little snowman guy right there. And we're going to put 
a couple of cocos here. And what, the other thing that I do with cocos is to imply that I might be getting together with my girlfriend. So that's why I put these around together. Is they're kind of like coffees, you know, like that. And maybe even a couple earlier in the week to where I'm going to plan some time with my girlfriends to go have some coffees. So we'll put this one right here. And I may also put one with some some um, marshmallows in it right there. And also maybe right up here on a Saturday afternoon I might do that. And also, what does this do? This would also get rid of my um, skint that I did. Remember that skint? So we'll put it right there. And anytime you do these kind of little things, it just makes it fun. And so I'm going to take these little mittens... And I'm going to put them up here over Saturday, kind of, yeah, like that. Anything that will look wintry and fun, and where's the toboggan? I've got this little toboggan right here. Other people call that a hat. We call them toboggans here in the south. Actually, I don't know if that's a southern thing or not. But I'm going to put that right there. Yep, you got it. Smack dab in the middle. And then here's another little snowman. And we'll put him over here. Maybe right there by the, um, the winter sweater weather. And maybe we'll take another toboggan and put it up there with, with that and try to bring that all together. And then maybe some more middens. And we'll put that um, right there over Wednesday. And we will take some more snowflake icons and put them over different days. Again, as you can see, this is kind of messing things up. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with messing things up. Um, we're going to put a couple of these together. There we go. A couple of snowflakes together right there. And I'm kind of making these look like they're in pairs on purpose. There's another one here from Monday. Whoops, there we go. There we go. And then maybe a gray one right there at Tuesday. And a really baby blue one right there at Tuesday. That will look really cool. There we go. And some other baby ones. Maybe right here. You guys. People are looking at this going, Beth, it is 80 degrees in the south. It's like, I know, but we're wishing for snow. We're wishing for snow. And we're saying things like, brr, because we want it to be snowy. There we go. So we'll put burr right there. And maybe we'll put a little snowflake by that. How about that? And that'll be kind of neato. So anyway, and there's all kinds of little fill-in things we can do. Look at these little snowballs. This is so cute. Look at little snowballs. I'll put it right there above. How about right in between? Right there. So anyway, then I've got some things to do. Like I have my puppy's appointment to have them groomed on Thursday. So I'm going to add that in. And put that smack dab on my don't forget. So that's going to be in the middle of Thursday. They couldn't take them on Friday. So that's the baby's appointment. Then I'm going to have a nails appointment on Wednesday. Because, why? Because, I'll tell you why. Because I need to get my nails done on Wednesday as soon as I get paid. So that will be down here in the little things right there because that's something I'm going to need to do. And then um, I'll need to, again, clean my makeup brushes. So we'll put that on the weekend. We'll put that over here. And then I will also need to do a plan with me. And so I've got to decide which one of those. Maybe that one. So we'll do the plan with me like there and I will need to snip off the edge of that one and um, I'm not singing so I don't need that one my cleaning lady's not coming my husband doesn't have a gig that I can remember if it does I will let you guys know um, the pray for me's oh whoops that should have been the pray for me oh well yeah I gotta take that off yeah we'll, we'll do the plan with me on this day how about Saturday how about that no, let's do that here, like kind of like that, okay? 
And then the pray for me's will be that right there. And so I won't use this actually. Um, the cleaning lady's not coming. I need to change out the, um, the little, um, what am I trying to say? My little fish is water, so we'll need to put that on the weekend as well. Um, actually, we need to do that on Monday night because uh, the weekend goes by and then I don't do it. <laughs> and then also, I need to do my little um, Sweet Quiet Designs paycheck thing where the money comes in. And it's on the 20th, so I'll put that right up here. And uh, my Bible studies, which will be my Saturday morning Bible study, which is kind of this look. And my Sunday night one, which is this look. And I will put that right there. Okay. And um, I don't really have any more space. Or else I would have put uh, one of these kind of cool scriptures. Or I may pull these guys back and put it right there. I doubt it. I don't know. I might. But anyway, that should end where we are at. And I will tell you, I've got so many wonderful uh, Plan With Me is coming. I am looking into um, Magnolia, what's it called, Boulevard. And she just really has some great ones, just like Prairie Girl Plans and Glam Planner. There's gotten to be three of my favorites. So let me make sure this is right where you can see it all. That's the final look. Hope you guys like it. Can you see everything? There's the far away. There's the close up. So I hope you guys have really enjoyed it, and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.